feel like I'm kind of behind you. Don't be behind me. Can you be next to me? I would like to be next to you. All right, cool. Let's do that. Hello everyone, this is Brandon Leon. I'm here with Keith Collins. So I'm your real estate expert in Rockland and Roseville. Keith Collins is lending expert here locally in the area in Northern California. And today in this video, we're gonna be talking about why the lowest interest rate doesn't always equal the lowest cost. I'm glad you brought that up, Brandon. Yeah. Yeah, so just an interesting concept. I think a lot of times we chase kind of the shiny penny of maybe the lowest interest rate, and we're not necessarily looking at the actual loan program. Mm -hmm. And then the over co overall cost of the program pushed out maybe five or 10 years. Sure. So like a good example is FHA versus conventional. FHA will typically always have a lower interest rate uh, than a conventional home loan, but it has some of the most, uh, or the highest upfront cost. FHA has a 1.75% fee upfront financed into the loan. So when you push that out over maybe a five or 10 year period of time, you might be $5,000 more expensive on an FHA home loan, even though the interest rate's a little bit lower. Right, and but all people see is, oh, it's three and a half percent down. Low rate? Yep, low, low rate. I'm gonna get into a house and I'm gonna save my extra money in the bank, but not always the best option. Right, and we're not saying FHA is a bad loan. It just no. may not be the right loan for you. So number two is the points versus the duration of ownership. So Keith, talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so point. A point is usually a fee that's equal to 1% of your loan amount. So if you have a $300,000 loan amount, you have one point, it's a $3,000 fee. That fee is usually to purchase a lower interest rate. So hey, I have maybe some more money up front. I would like a lower interest rate to equate to a lower payment. I'm willing to pay that fee up front to do that. Mm -hmm. When we talk about points versus duration of ownership, if you're paying that fee up front, we have to figure out how long you're gonna be in the home to identify how long it's gonna take to save the amount of money on a monthly basis that totals that initial upfront expense. And so if that, if that time frame might be six or seven years, but you're only planning on being in the home in four years, it doesn't make sense to pay the points to buy the rate down. Yeah, yeah, that makes you complete sense. You with me on that one? I am, I am. I was thinking through it. That I was like a, it. That was a good one. I was, I was tracking with you mentally on a whiteboard in my head. <laughs> Number three, total cost analysis. Why is that important? You know, I think it's important that we always look at a total cost analysis. So I think in lending 2019, we might not be getting the wrong loan, but we but we might not be getting the right loan. And so it's really important to look at your individual situation, all the loan programs available to you, and then again, push those loan programs out over a period of time, like let's say five or 10 years, to figure out over time which program has the lowest cost. And we do that through a total cost analysis. Yeah, and how many lenders do you know, like over your years of experience, any other lenders besides your company actually do that? Not not a lot, it's a very unique program. He's being nice. Uh, I've never ever seen another <laughs> lender do a total cost analysis. It's very important, you should get one. So this is Brandon Leon, your friend in real estate here with Keith Collins. And that's the end of our video. If you enjoy it, please consider liking this channel, commenting, or potentially subscribing. And we'll see you on the next one. Have an awesome day.